Getting to space can be a problem when you're a small satellite. You're either grounded, waiting for a ride, or drifting in space for months before you get to your destination. But there is a solution. Air launch. Instead of launching a big rocket from the ground, you take a 35,000-foot shortcut straight towards the stratosphere. That's where you launch your rocket. You can fly smaller rockets more often to more orbits for less money. It's getting everybody's attention, but it's not a new concept. The first air launch happened way back in World War I, and for a hundred years since, it's been a key part of some extraordinary projects. So what's new? Well, satellites for one, they caught up by scaling down. Small, cheap satellites mean more access to space, and demand has never been higher. It's a new era. The space economy of the future will rely heavily on small satellites, pushing the need for more dedicated launches. Imagine one satellite failing in your globe-spanning constellation. It'd be like, we need to launch a replacement and we need to launch now. Only air launch can do that. Why? Well, a few reasons. First, when you build a launch pad, cram it full of electronics, and set it on fire with a rocket engine, it takes a while to fix between launches. And to keep us safe back on Earth, under every launch is a no-go restricted zone. So if weekend warrior Willie finds himself sailing past that line, the whole mission could be scrubbed. This no-go box is smaller and farther from people when you launch from the air. Oh, and don't forget Mother Nature. Thankfully, the weather is better above the clouds. This can all cause congestion for ground launches, but not every mission can wait. Air launch can be more responsive, more flexible, and less disruptive. It's launch on demand, just like booking a flight. Now all you need to get to space is access to a runway and a dream. Wait, did I mention that it's an airplane that can launch your rocket to space from anywhere on the planet? Anywhere? That's huge, considering there are over 180 countries without easy access to a launch pad. They'll need to launch thousands of satellites to space in the next few years. Without air launch, the math doesn't add up. Soon, satellite makers and operators will be able to launch from anywhere at any time, and countries and businesses around the world will have access to space like never before. This is big. It's democratizing space. So the question is no longer, how am I going to get there? It's, where do I want to go?